in today's Top Trender, Deliver Us. Now to deliver a special sermon on the sanctity of deliciousness, the Noid. Tom Monahan, founder of Domino's Pizza, was the driving force behind Ave Maria. The founder of Domino's wants to turn a Florida town into a religious hotspot. A Catholic utopia faithful to the principles of the Catholic Church. Monahan has pumped nearly half a billion dollars of his personal fortune into Ave Maria. Ave Maria received national attention after Monahan's comments about banning pornography and contraceptives in the town. Avoid the Lloyd. My goal is to get to heaven and drag as many people along with me as I can. Joining me tonight, Reverend Barry Lynn, Executive Director of Americans United for the Separation of Church and State. Reverend, good to have you with us tonight. What, what is the harm here as you see it, a Catholic community set up like this? Yeah, well, this is a big problem. You know, about 10 years ago, Florida governor at that time, Jeb Bush, convinces the Florida legislature to allow Ave Maria to be set up as a kind of planned community. And he convinces the legislature that unlike other planned communities in Florida, there's no representative democracy in this town. The prior law had said, look, if you set up one of these planned communities, you have to allow people in it to vote at least after 10 years. In this case, there's no guarantee that any of these people, 2,500 people in 11,000 acres in Ave Maria, Florida, will ever get a chance to vote. So, of course, you're going to have people like Tom Monahan, who is a very idiosyncratic Catholic, not a mainstream Catholic, deciding if you want to watch a little soft porn on the cable, you can't do that. If you want to go into a, a grocery store, you want to go into a drug store and buy even a condom, you can't do it in Ave Maria, Florida. There's something wholly unconstitutional about that. There's something wholly wrong and inappropriate about it, because if these folks who live in that town cannot ever vote, they'll never change the policies. Now, this, this gentleman stepped down uh, from Ave Maria University in 2011, uh, yet I understand he's still involved in the town. So where's law enforcement here? Well, I, I, mean, if, I mean, if, if, if there, are there laws being broken right now? Well, if there are laws being broken, then it's up to the people in the surrounding county to have their police force come in and enforce those laws. Similarly, if you don't want to go to the Catholic schools, the elementary schools, the preschools, all the way to high school, you still get yeah. allowed but, to, to go to a public school but the only people of that would, Maria. The only people that would be in that community would be people who want to live <laughs> that way, worship that way, live their life that way. And so isn't that somewhat of a, a statement of freedom in regard? Not really, because we gave up on this idea that if you're comfortable with people, we remember when there were only women stewardesses on airplanes, and then somebody said, well, we should hire men. And the big airlines years and years ago said, you know, we think most people who fly are business travelers. They're not going to be comfortable uh, being served by a man. They're more comfortable being served by a woman in a skirt. Comfort level is not a constitutional standard, and it's not a constitutional standard yeah. in a town set up in Florida by Tom Monahan, who did dispose of Domino's Pizza. He now owns a place called Domino's Farm, one of the places that sued the United States government so they didn't have to provide contraceptives yeah. to their female employees. And, and finally, do, to your knowledge, does the Catholic Church endorse this? Are they given a stamp of approval? And if they are, what's the danger here? No, there's no stamp of approval, as I understand it, from the Catholic Church. The church, there is a giant cathedral in Ave Maria. Uh, Mr. Uh, Moynihan tried to appoint one of his favorite priests to be the head of that church. Uh, the surrounding uh, uh, officials from uh, Florida's Catholic community said you can't do that. And so that didn't work. So they don't, have work. A, they don't have a, a, a parish or a priest right no. now? No, what they have is the only privately owned Catholic church in the United States of America. Okay. And they, they have problems. There's certainly dissent within the Catholic church, including within that church, but there's essentially no way to communicate those views to anybody else. So you have no representative democracy, you have no contraception, you have no adult entertainment on cable, you have absolutely no freedom in this place set up 
by Jeb Bush. He ought to come out and explain what he thinks if he's running for president about this community and its policies. All right, Reverend Barry Lynn, good to have you with us tonight. Appreciate your time on the edge.